Hello and welcome to Eliza the Wombat tries to make a fan edit part one out of I don't know how many parts. Um, yeah, you heard that right. <laughs> so yeah, this is gonna be a little something different. <laughs> I'm not a big fan edit fan cam person. I mean, I don't mind uh, watching them if I come across something that I like enjoy. Um, but overall, I'm just I'm not really that into them. Although I will admit that I have made some in the past over things that don't really matter, but I never publicized them, which very smart of me, extremely smart of me. I'm not gonna talk about them. I don't want to talk about them. But today is gonna be different. So I have like three playlists, three saved playlists on YouTube of just videos and videos and videos of tutorials and they're tutorials on how to do like transitions between clips and pictures and effects and uh, animations as well and I decided I'm gonna try and follow some of these tutorials. Why not? It might be fun. I don't know. So if you're wondering, what is the topic at hand? Like, who's gonna be who's gonna be the main focus of this edit? Uh, well, I'll tell you right now. It's a, it's someone very special, Carl Weezer. I've gathered clips as well as pictures of Carl Weezer that I think will be great for this uh, this fan edit. This very special fan edit. And I've got a few things that I want to do, and a few tutorials that I want to follow. Today's episode is going to be something called a warped bubble. The actual tutorial itself is 53 seconds long. It's not very long, as, <laughs> as you can obviously tell. Um, the thing is with these tutorials that I'm going to be watching is that they all have a very specific format, and it's like they show this text screen of like oh you want you do you want this and then they show the finished result and then they show another text screen like oh, okay just keep watching or just follow me and it's then they cut to uh this very sped up clip of them editing in Sony Vegas so yeah the, that's the thing is that they just show them editing and it's very sped up and they don't give you like small little text bubbles to explain what they're doing. They just kind of leave it at you to follow along as best as you can. And that's like the big problem is that they don't really have any um, explanations of any sort. So if I struggle with any of these, then that might be for your viewing pleasure and for my struggle and pain and agony. I'm not really ready for this, but I'm excited. I'm excited to see how well I do, and if it ends up looking really good, then that would be really cool. And I'd be really proud of myself, but I don't know. We'll see. Alright, so I have the clip with... <laughs> I wanted to... <laughs> That's the clip that I'm gonna do the warped bubble on. The warp bubble looks like that, so it's like a weird bubble kind of just spreading itself. Um, I feel like there's gonna be masking with this, and I'm kind of scared, because I'm not very experienced with max masking. Maxing? Masking? I don't know. Okay, so I'm gonna watch the tutorial. It's only 53 seconds long, it's not gonna take very long, but... Just so I could get like a general idea of what they are gonna do. Okay. I know this song. I don't know how I know this song. I should be paying attention. Oh god. Okay. This is gonna be fun. Um, so what they did was they kind of did this wacky thing with uh, the circle. And they just kind of did an animation of it. And then what they did was, after that, they masked the person so it would be behind them. That seems simple enough. Too bad it's going to take me, like, five hours, I feel. 
and I'm not gonna sleep. And that's on ruining sleep schedule. Thank you, pandemic. All right, first thing. So what they did was they got a solid color. <laughs> and it's a black. I guess I don't need an audio track, so I'm just gonna get rid of that. So, go into media generators. Solid color. Stretch it out. Okay. And then they got a cookie cutter. What is a cookie cutter? <laughs> Under video effects. Oh, I was like looking for video. I was looking for cookie cutter under media generators. It's under video effects. Look at me go. Uh, cookie cutter right there. Okay. And it's a circle center, I'm guessing. See, okay, let me just slow this down. <laughs> uh, 0.25 speed. I feel like that's still gonna be too fast. Oh wow, the <laughs> music. So what they got, they got a circle cookie cutter, and then they made it white. Okay, that's easy enough. Put a circle, do we put that over the, um, am I stupid? <laughs> oh, okay, there we go. So now the color of it should be white. Okay, it's white, and there is no outline over it. What did I do wrong? <laughs> How am I already messing up? Do they... Okay, so do they adjust anything? So they... Okay, they changed the border. Oh, it needs a border. Obviously, it needs a f border. <laughs> I'm, like, stressing out. This is bad for my anxiety. Oh my god. What the fuck? And then they right click on the track. I guess they right. Wait, what? Huh? So they selected a thing called cut, but I don't know how they got to that. Uh, hang on. Oh, that didn't work. <laughs> I think I did it. I found it. I found it. I found the cut option. Now, if I click it and it gets it, it, it get it and it gets rid of the, if I click the cut and it gets rid of the whole thing. I'm scared. It got rid of the border. It was not supposed to get rid of the border. <laughs> Hang on. Hang on, they did this thing where they went to this and they put draft full, but that's for like preview. I don't know if that like will do anything, but I'm gonna do it anyway. <laughs> Wait a minute, holy shit, am I stupid? They didn't click cut, they clicked screen. My eyes. It's from these glasses. Look. Well, I don't know how long that took, but I managed to, I managed to do it. Could you imagine if I wasn't recording? That would be fantastic. Okay, anyway, next step. <laughs> so the next thing they did is that they have this thing called s underscore warp bubble so oh so this warp bubble and warp bubble too i'm gonna use warp bubble i'm just gonna use warp bubble because that's what they use and i don't know if they'll look any different as warp bubble too so they put that over the clip obviously i don't know why i didn't think <laughs> look at how nice he looks so cute all right what do they do for presets let's look all right. <laughs> and two, that was wow, that was wonderful. And then they see at one, two, five, three, three. And then they click the weird colors. Two, five, three. They click this one. And they go up. I know. 
Oh, that's, 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 that's cool. Okay. But I actually just want to keep trying to survive. I hate to try so much. I don't want to do it. And then they change the frequency of uh, real X. Question? No, that's not. 0.639. And then they make that. And then they make the Z this. This is. Sorry, I can't read the last one. So 0.639 on that. Okay. 0.639. And make that. Okay. And then if they make the amplitude as well, they make the amplitude as well. 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 They make the
spent like how long? 15 minutes trying to mask and it's bad. So I'm just gonna redo it and hopefully get this right. All right, wish me luck. <laughs> you know, I'm just gonna make an outline around the hands. I'm not even gonna individually get the fingers. I'm just so done. I don't want, I want this to be over. Oh, that's why I need another copy. I deleted the original copy because I need two tracks and I had to stretch it out. Okay, so I'll just do that then. Oh my god, I'm not that smart, guys. I'm really not. I'm not that smart. I want to cry. I feel like I'm going to cry. Like, this is just frustrating. I'm spitting. And I lost footage. This is just great. decided to do is get rid of the tracks keep the one with the circle obviously now I gotta find that and start over I've started I've started over like five times I think <gasps> all right audio okay and then I gotta stretch this out so it fills the whole thing so it doesn't look gross. Here we go. And then we take that. We right click on the actual track and we duplicate the track, put that on the top. And then with the top, okay, we put the mask on. Unless it doesn't work like that. Or I can just put it on top like that. Okay, I'll just do that. And so now my <laughs> I'm like afraid my camera's gonna die. Um, with that, we do the mask again, and I'm just gonna completely half-ass this mask because I don't want to. I I've tried this like ten different ways, and it's very annoying. mask again because I don't know how to properly mask
I did it. I did it. That's as good as it's gonna get. <laughs> oh my god, I did it. So after a good hour, maybe, uh, it might be an exaggeration, it might not be an exaggeration, I don't really know exactly how long that was, I did it. This is the final product. Product? The final result, I don't know. Um, I think it turned out okay, although the masking... I got lazy. I got... I didn't want to adjust it anymore. I tried it like five different times. I'm not experienced with masking. I think I've mentioned that plenty of times before with this video, but I am kind of impressed with how much I managed to do it right compared to the actual like t tutorial result. And it was very difficult to keep up um, and understand what was going on. I had to slow it down. I had to rewatch it so many times. Um, but I, I managed to do it. So, will this happen again in part two? I don't know. Stick around. I am excited. I'm nervous. I am a bunch of things. Hopefully the next thing doesn't involve masking. I don't know what I'm going to do next, actually, um, but that's okay. See you around.